Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you on this Wednesday as we head into the evening hours. Strong storms could be working their way through Hutch'sWeather.com. One way to stay ahead of the storm. Here's the latest on the track and timing of the storms tonight on Hutch's now, Weather. A Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks for joining me. This is going to focus specifically on the track and timing of tonight's storms. There have been some changes. I have a video on that up at the top here. You can see more information uh, by heading to HutchesWeather.com and flipping through the videos of recent or head over to Hutch's Weather on Google and you can see the latest there, excuse me, on YouTube. Storms firing as we go into the afternoon hour out in and around the Black Hills of South Dakota. Those storms could quickly fire up and become severe. They'll be heading in the general direction of central North Dakota as we go towards dinner time, and development into North Dakota could be strong to severe as well. As we go into the late night hours, these race toward the Missouri River Valley. Notice how most of the activity stays south. There's been a southerly shift to the severe weather risk tonight, and in fact, an enhanced risk of severe weather is possible in those areas as we go into and through the overnight hours. Now, here we go. As we go towards midnight, these storms are making their way through the James River Valley. Still a hail risk there. Gusty winds possible and Sioux Falls, but we're not done yet as we go through. This model does say as this system works its way into the Red River Valley, it could scoop into some more moist air, firing up some more storms around 2 to 4 a.m. So some overnight thunderstorms here will be possible. I cannot rule out severe, but the likelihood is that they will only flirt with severe criteria. One inch diameter hail, 60 mile per hour gusts here in our neck of the woods. So that is a quick piece at the storm risk as we go through the night tonight, the timing, the track. So if you're going out to the uh, fairgrounds tonight, the Red River Valley Fair, we should be free of storms in Fargo. Not the case in places like Bismarck and out towards the James River Valley as we go towards midnight tonight. That's a quick look at the change in the forecast update. You can always get the latest on uh, HutchesWeather.com. Follow on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, but most importantly, stay weather aware. If storms form tonight, they could be potent or if not severe.